Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Fierce Spinosaurus Over the last few years, the Spinosaurus has been making waves in the world of paleontology. It's believed to have been the largest predatory dinosaur that ever walked the surface of the planet. This isn't 100% confirmed, but it appears that way since the dinosaur was 45 feet long. The Spinosaurus had a giant sail on its back that was made up of dorsal spines that were covered in skin, leading scientists to believe that the creature was amphibious. There was speculation that it could hunt on land and use its sail to swim in deep waters. This would have allowed the Spinosaurus to eat land creatures and large fish. However, some researchers say the Spinosaurus was most likely a horrible swimmer, despite its evolutionary advances. But it was definitely more equipped to eat fish than terrestrial animals. Just the shape of its skull is enough to know that, as it was shaped more like a crocodile than a T-Rex. It also had claws like scythes that would have been useful for catching prehistoric fish. But despite the fact that it clearly ate seafood, its body made it more comfortable on land. Paul Serino from the University of Chicago believes the Spinosaurus was a shoreline hunter, meaning it stalked prehistoric beaches for grub. Paul says the Spinosaurus frequently waded into the water to catch food, but it's likely that it couldn't swim very well. Its body was too big, and its tail was too rigid to function underwater. And so, scientists still don't have a good explanation for what the giant sail on its back was for. Paul even says the sail would have made it more difficult for the Spinosaurus to swim in water. Number 9. Ancient Kansas Shark In Kansas, researchers have found a giant species of shark that lived 91 million years ago. Excavations were done on a chunk of farmland in the heart of northern Kansas that revealed the marine predator. It would have swam through the ocean that covered the state long before the dinosaurs even went extinct. It lived during the late Cretaceous period, but then it died and became fossilized in the sediment of the Great Plains, which at the time were submerged. Paleobiology professor Michael Everhart from the Sternberg Museum of Natural History initially thought he'd uncovered the remains of a species called Credotus crescidens. This is an extinct type of shark that lived between England and North America. However, when scientists compared the teeth to known specimens, they realized they had a totally different species of shark. They have since named it Credotus hotonorum, and apparently it was huge. The specimen itself consists of 61 vertebrae, 23 scales, and 134 teeth. The team even found fragments of calcified cartilage, an extremely rare discovery. One of the most difficult things with prehistoric sharks is that their bodies are built of cartilage, not bone. Finding any evidence of their bodies at all is almost impossible. As for its size, this thing was a massive beast. It definitely would have been the last shark you would want to see while going for a swim. It was bigger than a great white shark, and it was about 22 feet long, possibly even longer. It also appears to be a distant cousin of the tiger shark. Number 8. The Transylvanian Dwarf Dinosaur when you think of Transylvania, vampires and werewolves may come to mind. But a new discovery that was made in Romanian territory might have you thinking of dinosaurs instead. A group of researchers have just identified a new species of dinosaur named Transylvanosaurus platycephalus, which roughly translates to flat-headed reptile from Transylvania. The species belongs to a group of prehistoric creatures called dwarf dinosaurs. And as the name suggests, they were a lot smaller than other dinosaurs. The Transylvanian dwarf dino was an herbivore that lived about 70 million years ago. This was a point in the planet's history when flowering plants were just getting started. The supercontinent known as Pangaea had just recently shattered into smaller continents, and things were going just swimmingly for the dinosaurs. Little did they know that they would soon be extinct. The Transylvanosaurus lived alongside early crocodiles and turtles, as well as other dinos. It had a wide, flat head and only stood about six and a half feet tall. What's interesting is that by this time, dinosaur diversity had started to drop. What a lot of people don't realize is that before the asteroid impact, dinosaurs had already started to dwindle. There were still a lot of them, 
but other creatures were starting to evolve and diversify far more rapidly than their dinosaur friends. Number 7. Sharp-Fanged Lizard Scientists have found a lizard that lived 202 million years ago, and it could uproot everything we know about reptile evolution. The lizard was so small it could fit in the palm of your hand, and yet its teeth were as sharp as butcher knives. Paleontologists uncovered its fossilized remains in a storage container at the Natural History Museum in London. It had been stored there ever since it was recovered at a rock quarry in England in the 1950s. In 2022, researchers took the old bones and analyzed them properly for the first time. They dated the lizard back to the Triassic period, and they identified the creature as a type of squamata, the largest order of reptiles we know about, encompassing snakes and lizards. Michael Benton, a professor at the University of Bristol, says the creature's skull was a measly 1.2 inches long. However, despite its small stature, the lizard had extremely sharp teeth, inspiring the team to name it Small Butcher. This lizard is older than any other discovered squamate by 30 million years. This fascinated scientists because they've always struggled to understand how these reptiles first evolved and what kind of common ancestor they all shared. There are 11,000 species in the family, many of which are extinct. The small butcher lizard shows that they've been around for a very long time, but we still don't know if it was their original relative or if it was just one of many tiny lizards. Number 6. Antarctic Dinosaurs Scientists discovered a shocking amount of fossils in Antarctica. Marine dinosaurs and giant creatures that once roamed the land were uncovered on James Ross Island in the northeast region of the Antarctic Peninsula. Between February and March of 2016, an expedition was carried out hundreds of miles south of Chile in search of prehistoric fossils. Amazingly, the scientists found exactly what they were looking for. They found a large number of Mosasaurus fossils from 71 million years ago. The marine reptile was a force to be reckoned with during the Cretaceous period. They were huge, ferocious underwater predators who ruled the world's oceans. This was not the first time Antarctic fossils have been discovered. The first major breakthrough came in 1990 and 1991 in the Trans-Antarctic Mountains, when scientists found the first dinosaur fossils in the icy continent. We now know Antarctica was once a balmy tropical paradise. It was covered in tall trees and lush forests, and it was occupied by several different dinosaur species. Researchers discovered the fossils of mosasaurs, plesiosaurs, and much more. While parts of the continent were underwater, most of the north was populated by the same dinosaurs that lived in South America. After all, both landmasses would have been attached back then. And now for number 5, but first it's shout out time! We wanted to give a big thank you to Jennifer Ballesteri and One Sweet Lil Wren for supporting this channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos about amazing prehistoric creatures. Number 5. The Anomaly A dinosaur fossil that was discovered in 2017 was so strange that experts thought it was fake. Nobody could understand the bizarre fossil because it had a neck like a swan, flippers like a dolphin, claws like a velociraptor, and it moved around like a penguin. The creature just had too many bizarre features, and paleontologists thought it was a sophisticated fake. The fossilized remains of the dinosaur were dug up at a prehistoric graveyard in Mongolia. Then they floated around on the black market for years before finding their way to scientists. Researchers at the Royal Belgian Institute of Natural Sciences were then able to investigate the bizarre species. The issue was that the dinosaur didn't immediately fit into any of the known predatory dinosaur groups from Mongolia. It was a mix of reptile, amphibian, and bird. It even had sickle claws like you would expect to find on a raptor. Lead researcher Andrea Kao said that this led her to question whether or not the fossil was genuine. Andrea and the team scrutinized the remains using X-ray microtomography. Only after extensive tests could they be sure they were dealing with the real thing. We now have a very weird type of new dinosaur in the record books called the Halska. The dinosaur was likely semi-aquatic, and it may have walked on two legs with the same posture as a modern duck. It would have used its flippers to swim while in the water just like modern penguins. Number 4. Avian Development Scientists may have just had a breakthrough regarding the origins of birds and their feathers. 
The breakthrough is thanks to the discovery of an ancient chicken-sized creature with long fur and bizarre projections sticking out of its body. This was one of the very first avian animals, and it was incredibly weird. Researchers led by David Martil at the State Museum of Natural History in Karlsruhe, Germany, were behind the discovery of what some have called the most elaborate-looking prehistoric animal known to science. The fossil was uncovered in Brazil, and it dates back 110 million years. Scientists have called it Ubi Rajara Jubatus, meaning Lord of the Spear in the language of the indigenous Tupi tribe. David says the strangest part of the creature are its two long ribbons jutting out from its shoulders. David says these weird protrusions were likely used to either attract a mate or frighten off foes. The flamboyance of these strange decorations even suggests dinosaurs could have participated in elaborate dance ceremonies in order to attract mates. The projections aren't feathers, and they aren't scales either. Nobody knows what they are, but scientists say they could be connected to features on modern peacocks. The peacock is one of the best examples of how birds use elaborate feathers to attract mates. But the ancient Ubi Rajara may have been one of the first avian animals to come up with the idea. Number 3. Puffy-Cheeked Creature A recently published paper in the Journal of Systematic Paleontology has revealed three newly discovered ancient species of animal. A team of researchers from the University of Colorado unearthed teeth and lower jaw bones. These old bones belong to a trio of prehistoric mammals that lived across North America shortly after the extinction of the dinosaurs. All three creatures are different, but they point to one exciting conclusion. It appears that after the dinosaurs were killed off by the asteroid impact 66 million years ago, mammals began to rapidly evolve and diversify. These particular mammals are part of a group called archaic ungulates, the earliest ancestors of horses and cows. The team of scientists examined the teeth and jawbones of 29 fossils to discern the differences between the species. One of them proved to be extremely interesting, and it's called Bjornis honeyi, named after Bjorn from The Hobbit. The creature earned its name because of its inflated molars that likely gave it the appearance of having big, puffy cheeks. In The Hobbit book, Bjorn is a shapeshifter that can transform into a bear, and he also has puffy cheeks. This ancient mammal likely resembled a giant bear with puffy cheeks. But the most exciting part of the discovery is still the realization of just how many mammals evolved after the dinosaurs went extinct. Scientists previously thought the world was largely barren for the first few hundred thousand years following the asteroid impact. We now know that isn't true, and that North America saw a massive boom in complex mammal life. Number 2. Bulgarian Pandas Scientists recently uncovered a new species of giant panda, but it's been extinct for about 6 million years. The new species of panda once wandered through the forests and wetlands of Bulgaria, and it was roughly the same size as the modern giant panda. However, unlike our pandas, who rely entirely on bamboo, this thing had a more diverse diet. Scientists say the ancient panda was the most evolved of all the giant pandas that lived throughout Europe. As hard as it is to imagine now, Europe was once populated by wet jungles and giant beasts. The discovery of the panda was made thanks to a pair of teeth that were uncovered in the late 1970s. The teeth were then stashed at the Bulgarian National Museum of Natural History, where they were forgotten about. Professor Nikolai Spasov from the museum says the newly discovered species wasn't a direct ancestor of the modern giant panda, but it was a close relative. Its teeth seem to suggest that it lived in swamps and consumed a large variety of vegetables. Instead of eating crunchy bamboo, which wasn't around back then, it likely ate softer plant materials. Unfortunately for this giant panda, it became extinct as a result of natural climate change. Scientists believe it was during the Mycenaean salinity crisis, when the Mediterranean basin dried up, that the panda found itself without any food to eat. Pandas are extremely specialized bears, requiring very specific habitat and food. When Europe began to lose its wetlands and became drier, the panda simply had nowhere to go and no way of adapting. Number 1. Mammal on the Menu In the year 2000, scientists unearthed the fossil of a small microraptor. 
It was a feathered predator that lived in the forests of China 120 million years ago. The Microraptor couldn't fly, but instead it glided through the trees hunting anything it could find. The discovery was interesting, but it wasn't anything exceptional. It wasn't until researchers at Montreal's McGill University took a second look at the remains that they found something truly fascinating. Scientists spotted the remainder of a foot from an ancient mammal hiding between the Microraptor's ribs. It's now one of the first physical records of a dinosaur consuming a mammal. Researchers at the university were careful to explain that the mammal in the raptor's belly could have been scavenged or eaten directly. It's hard to tell with Microraptors because they were almost like feral cats. Microraptors scavenged anything meaty and hunted everything, including birds, fish, and small mammals. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite newly discovered prehistoric creature? Let us all know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe! See you next time! Bye!